This video is sponsored by Grammarly. Do you feel like your work just never ends? I don't know how I went from balancing 8 to 10 subjects in high school to struggling with 4 at university. But because my workload has been so heavy, it has kind of forced me to find unique ways to speed up my studying process. So in this video bestie, I'm going to show you how you can go from having just passing marks at university to getting first class honours all in one semester. But of course, if you're in high school, you should and can definitely apply these productivity tips. The second last tip will help you cut down your studying time in half. So make sure you watch the video till then. So last semester, I actually scored 95 for one of my essays in university. And that's crazy. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. The first thing that you do is to not read the question. You go to the marking scheme first. You're going to copy and paste the criteria to get the highest and the lowest marks. Most of the time, we'll actually end up learning more from knowing what the teacher doesn't want. You can see here that my lecturer doesn't want an emotionally repetitive essay. She wants critical analysis, structure, and references. Then, you're going to write your essay topic and how many words they require. Now, if you're not using AI to do the initial heavy lifting for you, you're seriously missing out and I'm gonna tell you my secrets. Just highlight your question and the number of words. Click on Grammarly at the corner of Google Docs and ask it to brainstorm topics for your assignment. It'll then generate the outline of your essay. You can choose the option you feel is the most accurate, then ask it to elaborate. There you go. The hardest part about starting any assignment or project is actually starting it. So let the AI help you with the initial outline and you can go from there. But my favorite way to use AI is to actually ask it to identify any gaps in your essay. This is actually how you'll get those critical thinking marks for your essays. Let AI do the analyzing and evaluating for you. Of course, it's equally as important to know how to use AI responsibly. So you can click on this prompt here and you can track how you've been using AI in your work. All these features that I've been showing so far is actually Grammarly. They just launched their new AI assistant. It's completely free for you to use, so I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can sign up at grammarly.com slash 9 Just download the Chrome extension and you're good to go. Brainstorming ideas for your essays is just one of the things that it can do for you. Grammarly's new AI-powered writing tool can also rewrite your work, simplify them, reply emails for you, and so much more. I'll be explaining how you can use it throughout this video. If you want to get access to extra features, you can get 20% off Grammarly Premium using the same link in my description box. Second tip, make a cheat sheet you'll never use. Sometimes in university, your professor will tell you that you can bring in one or two pieces of paper into the exam. These are called cheat sheets. We're just compiling all the essential information onto a few pieces of paper. And I thought it was just me, but so many of my friends and people online agreed that after making cheat sheets, you'll never actually end up using it because you remember everything on them. Why is that? The process of condensing all that information onto a single page forces you to prioritize key details. Because that piece of paper is so tiny, we end up needing to rewrite the cheat sheet over and over again in order to be able to condense all that information onto it. So what happens is we all end up accidentally practicing active recall, which is the proven method for memorization. So here's how to make a cheat sheet and what you should include. An easy way to start is by going into your notes, then typing this into Grammarly. I want to make a cheat sheet for this document. What should I include? It should generate a really good summary, but make sure you include your lecturer's learning objectives or your textbook's important subtopics. Then just grab a piece of paper and try to squeeze all that information onto it. If you're going beyond one piece of paper, you're probably not condensing your information enough. Force yourself to be brief. Next, dive deeper into the whys. While studying, it's super normal to come across statements or concepts that you're confused about. 
Usually it's those moments when you're studying and you think to yourself, why am I even learning this? For example, my biotechnology professor went from talking about RNA sequencing to temporal expression. And I was thinking to myself, what's the link between these two topics? I don't get it. Never ignore those thoughts. Always ask yourself, why? Why am I learning this? I just put in an extra 5 minutes to understand the link between RNA sequencing and temporal expression and my answer not only helped me understand the material more but a direct question came out for my exam last week. Your questions, confusions and curiosities aren't just random thoughts. They are gaps in your understanding that the exam will definitely test you on. Your teacher just wants to know who are the few students that will put in that little bit of extra effort to understand the material. So that few minutes you've put in to understand the material just landed you in the top of your cohort. Next, find out what you can replace with AI. I can guarantee you that more than half of your to-do list can be done more efficiently with AI. Let's spend our time on things that are more important. So I'm going to show you everything that AI can help you do so you spend less time in the library trying to rip your hair out. If you have a lot of readings to do, you can just copy and paste the sections you're supposed to get through onto Google Docs. Use AI to summarize articles and papers for you. Just type, pick out the top 10 main points. Here I'm just using Grammarly. For your essays, you can ask AI to make your writing sound more academic. Or for your emails, you can ask it to make your writing sound more friendly. It really depends on what you want. Last week, I had a 500 word essay and I couldn't get the word count down. So I just asked AI to shorten it and make it more concise. And of course, I've been preaching this for years, but never ever spend more than one hour proofreading your essay. Just Throw the whole thing into Grammarly and let it check your grammar, punctuation, and spelling for you. For my university students who hate citing things, it can do that for you too. Here's an important disclaimer. Never use AI to do your whole assignment for you. Your teacher can use AI to detect that AI wrote your essay. So you will fail. So use AI responsibly and ask it to track how you've been using it. Next. Schedule everything in. If you've watched my vlogs on YouTube Shorts or TikTok, you'll definitely know that I'm a huge believer of having a good work-life balance. And I'm going to tell you that you will have time for things if you schedule them in. I went from spending 12 hours in the library every day and suffering to being able to hang out with my friends every few days. So, the moment you get any assignment, project, or homework, Schedule when you're going to do them, no matter how far ahead you are right now. If it's a big assignment, you can ask AI to make a research plan for you. Then, assign a date to each step. You want to go out with your friend? Plan it in. If you say, I'll do it next week, it's fine, it's never going to happen. I've had to come to terms with it. When you plan your leisure, it becomes a part of your day, not just something you do in your leftover time. Scheduling and planning isn't supposed to feel overwhelming or uptight. It's just about making sure that the things that are important to you get its deserving time. If you've made it this far, comment down below how stressed are you right now. From a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most stressed. Remember to also like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you all for 1 million subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye besties!